If you use this method, you can complete the raid for basically instant repair. Hey everyone, Derper here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. I'm demonstrating the splash kill method on a level 120 target, and I have sped the video up to 2x speed, so it's a little bit less boring. I'm going to show you how I do it on this first hole, and then talk about it as I go through the rest of the target. So what you saw me do there is you saw me hit the Juggernaut X at the very start to trigger it, and it will start spawning drones. It does have torpedoes, and you do take one volley when you first trigger it because it has the same range as you. But then all you have to do is sit about 100 range away and splash kill the drones when they come out of the Juggernaut. Now, you have enough splash on your weapons so that when you hit the drones, which have a much shorter range, the Juggernaut X will die with only getting that first initial volley off at you. I do make a couple mistakes here, and if you, that happens if you get slightly too close to the Juggernaut X when it was moving at you. I find it's best to keep your range about equal to the thermal range, if you get too close like I did right there, you will take a volley of the torpedoes. But what I'm doing here is basically instant repair, free killing these things. They're not shooting at me and I'm shooting at them. It's a really, really tricky thing and is pretty useful once you do get the hang of it. Make sure you don't get snuck up on, on another Juggernaut X or Typhoon. And this does work also in the level 122 target, assuming you kill the battle cruisers first. I'm just showing it to you in the level 120 target. And I have messed up one time so far in this target, and I also have to take one or two volleys from every single Typhoon to trigger the initial shock. And what you'll notice here is I have another mess up, second mess up in this target. It's possible to do it for basically instant repair with even messing up. And if you have a crew like Molotov Maidens, that would help out considerably dealing more splash damage with a little bit more spread. I happen to have a Deadeye Destroyer crew on here, which does work fairly well with critical hits. And notice here that I'm doing a really good job of being patient, going slow, and you'll mess up a first few times if you're not very careful with this. But once you do get the hang of it, you can do basically targets on the map all day long, instant repair, as long as you're pretty careful. Just hit the Typhoon, trigger it, it will only start spawning drones once it is about 5% damaged, and then you have to, again, stay about 100 range away, so your range ring is just barely touching their thermal ring, hopefully to the side of it so it's not moving at you, and you can kill it. If you have something, there is a third mess up there, a third salvo that I took that I shouldn't have, and you always take that one initial salvo to actually do the damage, unless you can splash kill it by using the ammo carriers of some sort, which I don't think will really work in these targets. That's about all that I have for you with this method, and my build is a little bit different than my first two videos with this fleet, because I have gotten the tokens to finish out my build, equip all the armors and weapons to all my ships, and additionally I have upgraded everything. The four back ships are at U2, with the fifth one at U3, and the flagship is at still at U0, because there are no upgrade tokens in the raid for that one, which is unfortunate. Now these upgrades don't matter whatsoever, U1 gives you speed, which is not important for this method. You U2 gives you more survival, which is you're taking very little damage, doesn't really help, and my one ship at U3 only adds a little bit more damage, which isn't super helpful because you can just take a little bit longer to kill things, and that's what it gets for you. I am also using the Freedom Fist on here, but this should be perfectly possible with even a partial fleet with the basic unlimited weapons, as well as having zero upgrades. So give this a try and let me know what you're finding with this. You do have to be very careful to avoid being shot at by the torpedoes. By the way, you can see my cormorants are working in this target because when torpedoes do fire at me, I do take less damage. Uh, because some of the torpedoes halfway between the ship and me will disappear when my anti-torpedoes shoot them down. So my cormorants are working in these targets. You will also notice I am not using any sort of proto-ammo here because there's no proto-ammo ships nearby to reload. If there are and you can zoom out and focus on those, that could be a pretty helpful thing to do because those again do have a pretty high splash damage. But in order for that to happen, you have to set your ankles up really carefully. I find it's much better to be patient and go slow than try and rush through these targets because you might save a minute of time driving, but then you add on 10 minutes of repair time. And I want to do these things for instant repair. This is a lot harder to do in the 122. I'll see if I can play around with that and I might, might get a video out. But if this method helps, consider leaving a like and let's go over the battle report as well as the build. Damage taken is all concussive fear. You didn't even see the drones fire a single rocket. And the repair time is 8 minutes. A little bit of damage across 3 ships, which is instant repair and base, which is fantastic. Built on flagship at U0, fully finished. Other 4 ships, as I said, are U2, all slight variations. First and fifth ship do have a Vader armor because I thought those would be targeted more often. 
Anyway, if you enjoy the work I put into this video, go try this method and leave a like. As always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.